Hello and welcome back to Mondo Musings. This is your presenter, Nicardo McLean. Now in this episode, we fire the start gun on a series of videos featuring American universities which currently have five or more Jamaican track and field athletes rostered ahead of the start of the new collegiate indoor season. So with a click of her heels, we're off to the state made universally famous by this cinematic masterpiece. Kansas State University, with its main campus in the lightly populated Midwestern city of Manhattan, is one of the prime destinations for athletes seeking to excel in the jumps. Under the leadership of longtime head coach Cliff Revelto, the Wildcats have proven competitive against the likes of perennial powerhouses Texas and Texas Tech on the Big 12 conference level. They've also chalked up a number of memorable victories on the national stage over the years. Quite a few of these came courtesy of Jamaican student-athletes. In 2016, ex-Edwin Allen starlet Kimberly Williamson crowned herself the best female high jumper in the American collegiate ranks by winning that year's NCAA Division I outdoor title in the discipline. The following year, it was Wilmerian Christoph Bryan's turn to claim the outdoor national high jump title among the men. 2017 also witnessed a gold medal winning performance at the same meet from Heidel alum Shade Lawrence in the discus. Meanwhile, Shade's triple jumping twin sister Shardia, who also attended the St. Catherine based high school, snatched a dramatic late victory in her pet event at Outdoor Nationals in 2019. Given this history, it should come as no surprise that the two top Jamaican returnees on the school's current roster are both jumpers. In 2021-22, former Heidel standout Rihanna Phipps will seek to forge even further out into the pit than she did during her phenomenal freshman season, which saw her make it to Fayetteville, Arkansas for the NCAA Division I Indoor Track and Field Championships in the Triple Jump. In June, she supplemented that success with a trip to Eugene for Outdoor Nationals. These stellar accomplishments were complemented by an absolute best hop, skip, and jump effort of 13.52 meters for first at the Texas Tech shootout meet earlier in the year. She'll be joined on the runway by ex-St. Andrew technical campaigner Taisha Price. The collegiate veteran match Phipps' achievement by booking passage to both indoor and outdoor nationals in her specialty, the long jump. In the process of punching her ticket to Eugene for the latter, she notched a new outdoor PB of 6.54 meters at the NCAA Division I West Regional Qualifiers in May. Quarter miler Shalia Johnson, formerly of St. Elizabeth Technical, is set for another go round in Manhattan. Last season, she produced a near three second outdoor personal best at the Gym Click Shootout, placing second in her section in a time of 53.31 seconds. The Stats product will again be joined by versatile ex St. Jago athlete Levon Stevenson, who, despite experiencing a rather vanilla campaign, did at least have the satisfaction of producing a new PB of 1426 in the 100 meter hurdles at Jim Click. Another top tier talent who has flowed through the pipeline from Heidel to K State is gifted combo jumper Velicia Williams. The 19 year old who owns a personal best of 1301 in the triple set in 2020 registered a lifetime best long jump mark of 6.14 meters at the National Stadium back on March 6th. Meanwhile, the university's women's track and field roster also features promising Caymanian sprinter Shalissa Ray, who spent her immediate pre-college years in Jamaica being conditioned by the coaches at St. Diego. As for the Jamaican men, they number only two, but both are blue-chip talents who could give Kansas State a serious scoring boost on the conference level in their respective freshman seasons. The early headliner is another former St. Diego representative, Kavian Carr, who capped his high school career with a sensational senior campaign. Winner of the Class 1 Long Jump at Boys and Girls Championships, the 19-year-old kept up his victorious ways with a then personal best leap of 7.80 meters to walk away with an ACAC Under-20 title in July. This served as a prelude to an even greater accomplishment just over a month later, as the speedy sprinter jumper spanned a lifetime best 7.90 meters to claim bronze at the World Under-20 Championships in Nairobi, Kenya. Carr looks likely to assume the mantle of K-State long jump number one from Calabar old boy Jelani Walker, who's no longer with the program.
Former Herbert Morrison high jumper turned Excelsior long sprinter Antonio Hansen is the other Jamaican male in the Kansas State fold. His meteoric rise in the one lap this past outdoor season was highlighted by a superb two-second plus personal best of 46.64 in the Class 1 semis at Champs. The Hanover native was also exceptional for both school and country in the 4x4 relay, which is an event in which he figures to be an immediate contributor for a very promising 1600 meter relay squad. And with that, we bring the curtains down on this episode of Mondo Musings. Now, if you happen to have any updated squad information, please don't hesitate to share it in the comment section so that all interested parties can keep a keen eye on our America-based university athletes as they compete throughout the upcoming NCAA track and field season. Thanks as always for sparing a couple of minutes out of your busy schedule to check out this video. Until next time peeps, Godspeed.